Technology, including AI, robotics, and data analytics, are being incorporated into the way the SAF fights and operates. The RSAF Smart Airbase is one such example. It's part of the SAF's transformation into a next-gen defense force by 2040. Deborah Wong has more. It's not visible from here, but the second the engine roars to life, diesel fumes fill the air. That's not all. For the current loader, if you understand, if you saw just now, there was a lot of noise and everything. And through the noise, it's very hard for us to communicate. This device secures munitions onto fighter aircraft. It's a three-man job that calls for precision at every move, which means extra care is needed to navigate tight spaces. But after a 10-month trial, Harnessing digital technologies like data analytics and robotics, the team was able to enhance the performance of the munition loader. This successfully reduced the munition loading time and the crew size from three to one. The omnidirectional movement is something that is actually very precise and accurate. Just to give you a sense of how much simpler this is to operate than the current munitions loader, I'm going to give this a try. Well, this seems simple enough. All I need to do is to control this joystick to rotate on the spot compared to the current munitions loader where you need to steer it like a car. The new model runs on electricity and can also be operated with a remote control. It will be deployed for operations later this year. It's easier for us to communicate as it's not noisy and it's easy, for safety wise it definitely helps us a lot. But even as the planes tick to the skies, these drones have their eyes on the ground. Multiple drones can be controlled by one person, reducing manpower for tasks like perimeter patrols. Intruders won't stand a chance, as first responders can be deployed to the exact location faster. The drones are also being trialled to assess damages on runways and recommend the relevant repairs. Fewer boots on damaged ground means better safety for servicemen. The smart airbase is about delivering air power uh, ultimately in a more uh, effective manner and in a more efficient manner as well by providing uh, both manpower and time savings. This translates to a more robust, um, more resilient air force for Singapore. The SAF has unveiled this new mini unmanned aerial vehicle that can fly 15 kilometres from base, which means scouts can assess enemy grounds without having to carry it to the front lines. If there's a threat, this new motor vehicle can get ready to fire under a minute. It only requires half the manpower to operate it, compared to the current model. And if there's incoming enemy fire, this new radar can quickly detect it from any direction.